Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing of mine. Today I am unboxing Monsta X's 2020 photo book. I got both versions, Kama and Shiesta. I got these off of K-Town for you and I got the pre-order benefit. Um, the pre-order benefit was stickers and I got Shonun and Hingwang and I'm not going to take them out of the packaging at all. And these are the like the postcards and the photo cards, all the like little things that come with these photo books. Um, I'm really excited that they came out with a photo book, um, both two versions actually. I'm really um, excited that they did. Um, I love both colors. Um, I can't wait to actually look through these and whatnot. So let's begin. Okay, we got version comma, we got the front, we got the spine, and then the back. Show noon. Ooh. Oh, he looks so good in that photo. Ooh, I like that photo. Mm -mm. That's a nice photo of him. I am or Chung Koon. Um, his stage name is actually I am, and then his real name is Chung Koon. Um, if I'm saying his name wrong, just let me know. Um, he is one of the rappers of the group. Um, he's actually one of my biases. Uh, Monster X is actually like my alt group. Um, they are the ones that got me into K-pop. That's a nice photo of him. I remember seeing Monster X. Um, at the KWB Jingle Ball 2018 and 2019. It's a good photo of him too. And um, for, th for 2018 Jingle Ball, they were the last act. And I remember only watching like the intro and the first half of Shootout, I believe it was. Um, and then after that, I, had to, I left early um, just because my sister, she had the keys and she said she was going to leave without me, even though I know she wasn't going to, but... I never know. You never know. And um, just for that that little performance I saw, I thought they were really really good. But I never actually like looked into them and whatnot. Never really got into the whole K-pop. Um, never really got into it after that. Um, oh, those are good photos of both of them. Oh, they're both smiling. They're cute. And then um, 2019 it rolled around, and then they were playing at Jingle Ball again. And um, they were not the last um, act, which I was actually excited for. We got Menyak. Oh, he looks so good. And um, so Mount Sex, they weren't the last act, which I was really excited for because I was actually, like, I actually wanted to like listen to them and whatnot. And um, they were really, really good. Um, I remember what song that really, like, I couldn't get out of my head from there, theirs, and it was their English song, Someone, Someone, and um, I just, like, had to look them up and whatnot, and that's when I, their latest album at the time was Follow, Find You, I believe it was, and um, I remember because KWB, they had a picture of all seven, all seven members and when they came on stage it was only five and i was like i was like i feel like they're missing a few members but like i wasn't quite sure and then i remember looking at 
um, their photo that KWB put up, and there were seven members. Um, Juhan, he is my second bias. Well, actually, technically, Juhan is my first bias, and then Chung Hoon is my second bias. Um, basically, like the rap line is my bias. Um, but I do love the whole group. Um, when it comes to like pulling their cards or anything, I don't really care who I pull. Um, his stage name is Juhani. Um, I just call him Juhan. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice photo of him. But anyway, um, I remember there was like seven members, but only five of them was there. And, and um, Juhan was not there at the 2019 KWB Jingle Ball. And then obviously with Wonho, um, with that situation. And it was funny because I remember before, K uh, before Jingle Ball and stuff, I remember like seeing it was like the trending topic um, the day that he announced his departure from Starship and from the group and I didn't really like think much of it I didn't know and then once I was actually looking into Monster X after um could it be the Jingle Ball show after that I was looking into them and they when I saw like Wonho and how he like you know used to be a member then I was like looking into that and I was like oh my god like I remember seeing that was like trending all day and whatnot I when I was actually reading about it like I read like the um what starships um put out and, and whatnot and I don't know I always thought like it was kind of like just just not make made any sense to me he didn't need to lead the group personally I didn't think he need to but you know it is what it is um I am um Monsex OT7 I believe in OT7 um you can just tell like it's just OT7 is like the best Oh, these photos of Juhan are so good. Got Menok Menok and Juhan. Oh, that's a nice photo of them together. Um, so 2020 <laughs> rolls around and um I was just so purposely just listening to Monstax. I was not listening to any other group. Um got Keon. Oh, he looks so good in this photo. Um, was not listening to any other, obviously I've heard about BTS, but, um, I mean, I just did not, like, care at the time. Like, I wasn't really into the whole K-pop, um, just because, like, you know, my, I was always thinking, I was like, I'm not going to listen to songs that are not in English, but obviously now my, I've opened my mind to listening to other songs and of different, um, languages and stuff. And, um, for the longest time, it was just, like, beginning of 2020, it was just Monster X. And then I remember they announcing, like, they're having an all-English album. And their English album is amazing. And they're so, like, their English is really, really good. Got Hing Long. Oh, he looks so good in that photo. Oh, I love that photo of him. He looks so good. Oh, that one, too. But anyway, their English album is amazing. I I really, really do think it's really, really good. Um, and then we got one copy of that. Um, I was actually going to see them on their tour that they announced too. Oh, he looks good in that one too. And their first stop was Minneapolis. And I was going to go to that show. But um, now that they were scheduled, um, Minneapolis is not part of that lineup anymore. We got Keon and Hingwong. Oh, they look so good. But I'm actually thinking about going to the, their Denver show in 2021, if it happens. I'm hoping so. I've been concert deprived since December. Got the whole group together. This, this is a nice group photo. They all look so good together. But yeah, no, Monsta X is the one that got me into K-pop and kind of actually happy. I mean, K uh, like 
so far all the k-pop songs and like groups i've listened to they're all so good like they're all talented and language shouldn't be like the barrier of like you know of what people should listen to what not and i mean people should give it a try you should listen to it it's really really good Oh, that's a good photo of him. Oh, I love that photo of Shonun. Got I am or Chungun. I love his purple hair. Um, their their new album, um, Fantasia X or Fantasy. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Um. It's really, really good. I love all the songs on there. Oh, that's a cute photo of him. Him playing with the guitar, that's really cute. I love his hair color. This photo book is really, really pretty. I'm really glad that I got it. I mean, I just had to get it, to be honest, because since they're like my alt group and whatnot. And when it comes to like um, just collecting for groups wise, um, it's just like albums or photo books. I mean, you're just going to collect. I do have their light stick, which their light stick is so pretty. Um, it's actually like, I got that just so purposely for the show for Minneapolis. But since they canceled the Minneapolis show, I got Juhan. Oh, he looks so good in that photo. But like I said, I plan on going to the Denver show because I need to see them live again. They're so good. Like, they can really like put, they have really good stage presence, not gonna lie. Um... I wish though in 2018 I just watched their whole, their whole show, like their whole, yeah, like show the little spot that they had, just to see all seven of them. <laughs> ah, he looks so cute. Um, with One Hole, I actually bought his um first um mini album, and I'm excited to um get that and hear all the songs. Um, Losing You is really, really good. I was not expecting that to be all in English. Um, but I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, I, I consider him as part of Mons Monsex. Like I said, Monsex is seven. Seven members. Um, I see it as seven. Oh, that's such a cute photo of them. So, um, so I'm obviously gonna, um, support his solo career. And eventually, like, when um, the other members have solo careers, I'm like gonna like support them too because they're the ones that got me in the K-pop, and I'm really happy for that. Oh, that's a good photo of him. If I'm going too fast, sorry. It's just like these photo books are so thick. Oh, that's a good photo of him. Look at his smile. He looks so good. You got Hang Long. Oh, he looks so good. Oh, I love that photo. Jeez, everyone's just bias wrecking me. I mean, technically the whole group is my bias, but if I had to pick two, it is um Chunkoon and um Johan for sure. Oh, 
Oh, I love that photo of those together. Them together. I love vinyls. I actually clog vinyls. Oh, that's a nice photo of them together. And that one, too. We got all them together. Oh, that one's a nice one. And that one. And that one, too. They all look so good. And we got the DVD. Should I take it out? I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> There we go. And then we got CD. I love the color of this photo book. Just put that back. Get back in there. Okay. That was a really nice photo book. Let's get this. And it has a sticker. <laughs> this is actually like my first time dealing with stickers with all the, like, the albums I've been getting and I can tell why a lot of people hate them when I watch other unboxings everyone hates them let's see I'm actually I'm really surprised like with how much stuff that like is in these and whatnot like I'm really like surprised how much stuff you get. Okay, those are the Polaroids. Okay, I think these are the postcards. Got the show noon. And then we got the back. Then you look. Keon. Hang on. Juhan and Chunkun. And then we got the Polaroids. Let's get it out. Ooh. Shonun. And then there's a message, but I can't read Korean, so I don't know what it says. <laughs> Got Menok. Kian. Oh, that's a nice photo of him. Hang Wong. I love how these are selfie ones. Juhan. And Chunkyun. And we got the unit photo card, photo postcards, unit postcards. I don't know. I can't remember what's all this stuff that's in here. So I'm just gonna say it's the unit. And that's just the back. I think some of these were like AR, like postcards or photo cards. And then we got stickers. I don't know. Maybe. I think these might be stickers. I'm not really sure. Shonun. Miyok, Kian, Hingwang, Juhan, and Chunkyun. Yeah, I think those might be stickers. Not really sure. And then we have this right here. Not really sure what that is. Something with AR. Interesting. Okay, so that's all that. Okay, got 
Chiesta version. Um, actually really excited to see this. Oh, we got the mini poster. I was not expecting that to be in there. But here's the mini poster. They all look so good. Okay. King Wong, he's first. That's a nice photo. Oh, that's a nice photo of him. I love the outdoors. I can say why a lot of people who do unboxings love like the lighter and outdoorsy concepts because I mean the like, dark ones aren't bad either. Oh, that's a good photo of him. Like dark ones aren't bad either, but I really do enjoy like the light, um, outdoorsy summery ones these are such nice that juhan oh he looks so good oh look at his smile he looks so good these photo books are so pretty got Juhan and Hingong. That's a nice photo of them together. Oh, I love that in that one too. <laughs> Me throughout the whole video just saying, oh, I love basically loving each photo. Oh, that one's a cute one too. But the, <laughs> that's hilarious, actually. That show noon. Oh, he looks so good in that one. We got Keon. Oh, he looks so good. I really love this one. I mean, I love both versions, but I think I'm liking this one a lot better. That's a nice photo of him. Oh, that's a nice one too. His smile. Shonun and Keon. They're just farming. We got Manyak. Their outfits are really, really good too. Those are nice photos of him. Ah, oh, that's such a nice photo of him. He looks so good. Got Chungkoon. Oh, I am. <laughs> Is the sun bothering you? He looks so good. I really do love his hair color. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's a nice one of them. I am a menog. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I like how those. I like those photos. Make up the group. It's a nice group photo. Oh, that's a nice photo of them together. I just keep imagining, like, um, if Bonho didn't, like, leave and, like, what his photos would be and, like, how he would look. He looks so good. That's hilarious. Okay, hang on. Oh, he looks so cute in that photo. He really does. If anything, so like I said, like so I like I bias the whole group, but my main biases are um Juhan and Chunghyun. But if I could have said like my third one, I think it has to be Hang Long to be honest. Oh, the beanie on him looks so good. He looks so good. Yeah, I think I like this version a lot better than, than the comma. I mean, both versions are really good, but I really like this version a lot. I like this photo book. We got Juhan and Hing Wong. Oh, they look so cute together. Oh, that's a nice photo of them. We got Shonun. I wonder when he is actually going to enlist, since he's got to do that. Um, obviously, I'm guessing it's going to be after like their tour for 2021, if that happens. Like I said, I'm hoping it happens, to be honest. Like, obviously, I knew like when the whole situation with um, with the um, with the virus and stuff, when it was starting at like you know concerts and whatnot. You got Keon when concerts were starting to get canceled. Like I knew there's, I was like, obviously I knew those was either gonna be postponed or canceled. Oh, that's a good photo of him. Um, and I was happy it got postponed and I was really hoping that they'll, you know, keep with the Minneapolis show. I was so excited because a lot of, I don't, like a lot of K-pop like groups and artists don't come to Minnesota. Like that's what, that's what I noticed. It's usually like Chicago and like the bigger named, I mean Minneapolis is pretty big too, but um, a lot more bigger named well-known cities and so I was really excited and um, but since they canceled it um, but I wanted to get like because I didn't know like light sticks got shown in Keon like I didn't know like that was really like, a thing until like I was watching videos I keep seeing them just like what is that and I was looking into it and it was like the light stick and I was like light stick and then I was like looking it up on like Google and like and you know um, a lot of k-pop um, groups and artists have their own like light sticks for their fandom which I think that's actually really like cool I really love how um, k-pop like the industry does stuff um, compared to like Western companies um, I feel like we like the Western companies could step it up Menyak. Oh, that's a good photo of him. But 
um, I was like, okay, well, I really, 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 really want a light stick because, like, I knew I was, like, gonna, like, um, buy their albums and stuff like that. Like, they were, like, the only group I was just ever thinking of. I was never thinking about any other group. So I was like, okay, well, I need to get a light stick before the show. Um, but, like, every place was, like, every, like, where I was, like, looking for them, like, they were all sold out for, like, their light sticks. Eventually found on a website. I can't remember which one it was. But I am... He looks so good. And it was on pre-order. And it was expected to come after the concert. I was like, well, it's going to be postponed anyway or canceled because of the virus. And it was. These, those three are all good photos of him. He looks so good. <laughs> Let's smile. We got... Then Yuck and I am together. But no, I knew um, it was going to be like postponed. Um, I think I didn't get the light stick until the end of... Hmm, I got it like a week after like they like postponed it and whatnot. Um... Well, after, like, the Minneapolis show, like, the date that was supposed to happen. And then, I think a week or so later, I, like, end up getting it. That's a cute photo of them, all on bikes. This is a nice photo book. But anyway, their light stick, I gotta, like, admit, like, Monster X's light stick, it's very, very pretty. And then, um... Because of them, eventually, like, I was, like, venturing out, like, listening to other groups. Um, I think my second group was, I was, I started listening to BTS, um, and whatnot. But I listened to Mount Sox, like, uh, like, on a daily basis. <laughs> That's a good photo of them. There we go. I really love the colors. Okay. I realized I forgot to show, obviously, like, this is the front, and we got the, sp the spine, <laughs> and then we got the back. Okay. Obviously, we saw this in the beginning. That's the mini poster. And now we got this. There we go. Okay, wow, we have a lot of stuff. Okay. Where to start? Okay, we'll just do this one. I think this is the accordion one. They all look so good. And then we got the back side. I really wish I could like read what this says. Sadly, I can't. Maybe someday. So yeah, that's the accordion. We got these. I don't know what this was. I can't remember. <laughs> these are so cute. And then we got the photo cards. Got show noon. And that's the back. We got Menyak. That's the back. Got 
Kian. Oh, he looks so good. I think these are the selfie ones. I really do like the selfie ones a lot. Oh, he looks so good. Got Juhan. Juhan looks so good. You got Chung Oh, look at his purple hair. And then we got a, another set of photo cards. Or the AR photo cards. These are the AR photo cards. Got the show noon. Got the back of the AR. Got Menyok. They've got the back. Kian, Hing Wong. Oh, he looks so cute. Juhan. And we got Chang Hoon. Okay. And we got this again. I think this is for like the AR. Maybe. Maybe it's for focus. Maybe not. <laughs> oh well. Thank you for watching this unboxing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I really did. Um, these photo books are so pretty. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next unboxing or just a random video that I'll post.